Luke, you retire 10 batters tonight. We saw a bit of everything. What did you feel was working for you within your pitches? Yeah, I think it was, uh, there was a lot of discussion with me and Trevi of like a balance attack, just trying to get everything working, trust it, find moments to, you know, use the curveball, which is something I don't typically use a lot. Um, and really try to not rely too much on the fastball, but have moments where like the changeup and the cutter can be good spots. So, um, you know, there was great communication on that on the front end and through the game. And I feel like it was just a good um, overall game plan and it reaped the benefits of it. You spoke earlier in the spring about your happiness about where your fastball velocity yeah. is at. How would you rate it tonight? Yeah, it's, it was great to be able to hold it kind of through throughout. Um, I think our scoreboard out there is like one down, so that's that was never. I have to remind myself, like, okay, maybe it's a little bit better than that. But uh, no, it's great to feel like it coming out well. And I think when you look at some swings on, from the other side, like they're kind of showing you where it's at too. You know, some late swings, some foul balls. You know, not necessarily getting to the pull side on some stuff, and it just shows that it's really coming out well. And I think that's just. You know what we want as pitchers, especially with a four seamer and setting up other pitches to help complement them. Yeah, how does it complement a pitch like the cutter, a pitch that you yeah. continue to refine during the spring? Yeah, so they just have very similar, uh, you know, spinning profiles. Obviously, one's going to cut and go a little bit to the left, but um, it's just really good to kind of tunnel those off of each other and have something that just darts off the barrel. Um, away from the barrel, excuse me. So, you know, getting a ground ball, getting some uh, weak contact, um, maybe backdooring something where it feels like it's going to come off and it, and it sneaks back. So uh, those are just little, um, quote unquote, sneak attacks uh, off, off, you know, off the fastball that help complement that. Speaking of sneak attacks, you had a pickoff attempt in the first. <laughs> yeah. You had a pickoff at first in the second, and the guys in the booth were wondering, were those pickoff attempts something that happened naturally in the flow of the game, or was it something that you work on mm -hmm. during a spring start? Yeah, so the first one uh, was something that we called for, uh, was something that I was – I'm always trying to be aware. It, it's you know you got the clock going and you're trying to manage your emotions and the next pitch and then you got the guy out there. So it can get a, it can be a lot, but I think being as calm and having that game plan, I was really trying to set them up uh, with looks and different things that we do in order to try to keep them from not stealing. And it was just a great call to try to mix in. Um, kind of slipped and threw something high. I feel like if it was on the money, we got we got him there. Uh, but the other one was just strictly the first base was just strictly. Um, you know, on me. It was just something that, um, you know, I think it was a pitch or two in, but I, I saw that he kind of had a little bit of a jump going. And um, the second time it was almost like reactionary just to, to pick right when I saw it. And, you know, I was, it, there's a movie Limitless where things kind of slow down. And in the moment I felt like I turned and I saw where he was. And it was just a matter of trying to throw it up the line a little bit. And, it, it, you know, Rizzo Platinum winner, by the way. Uh, I figured I was in good company there, but threw one and he scooped it, but it was just about getting up the line. So the tag comes right into the runner. And I think that's most of the time where we're going to get a pickoff. So it was just decent execution with a little bit of help from our platinum winner. Now, Aaron Boone told us that this was the best he's seen from you this spring. When you hear that in the midst of a competition for the fifth starters role, how do you react? Well, it's it's very kind of him. It's 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 always, you know, goody good to to feel like you know your manager feels like you're in a good spot because that's where I feel confidently. Um, you know, I'm getting great feedback and good comments, and um, you know, we're just always trying to build towards something. We're just always trying to continue to stay on our game, and um, you know, they don't typically say comments like that all the time. So when they do, you just, you know, you don't necessarily pat yourself on the back, but you just feel you know, grounded and, and strong in your foundation. And it's just nice to hear. I mean, we're human beings and nice words go a long way. So it uh, feels good, just ready to go. And whatever happens, happens. But just happy to be a part of the team. Luke, thanks for the time. I appreciate you. You got it. Thank you.